right? So that's without and now with. There's a kick in there now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's kind of, it, I mean, it's a little bit, well, I mean, it's a little bit like cheating, but, but not, you know, I, I don't know. It's it's just, cheating it's, a, what's a good way of cheating, right? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, I hope you're all well. And thanks for checking out the channel. I'm Matt from Distant Sun Studios. And today we're going to be looking at Universal Audio's recording software, Luna, and why for me, it's the DAW that I pretty much use exclusively. As an introduction to today's video, I want to show you a quick clip from the Studio Rats live Q&A session every Wednesday night, 8pm GMT, don't be late. Rock on Gibbo's back, he said, evening laddies, I wonder if I could get your thoughts on the Pro Tools versus Logic Studio uh, 1 debate. I'm going to shoot the whole thing down in flames, they're all the same. They're all a mixer and a tape machine. Um, if you want the cheapest of all DAWs, which is Luna, because it's free, you're going to need to be running Universal Audio hardware. There are plenty of people who say DAWs sound different. I'd struggle with that other than Luna. Luna yeah. sounds different. Studio One versus Logic versus Pro Tools, you'd struggle to hear the difference, I think. Okay, if we jump straight into Luna, on the face of it, it looks pretty much just like any other DAW. Following the signal flow that starts at the top of the screen, we have the input selection for each track, insert slots for up to eight plugins on each track, sends to buses for adding parallel processing to instruments, and finally Q sends for creating a headphone mix. However, in addition to this, Luna has something called extensions that run natively inside the software. That means they require no external DSP from your Apollo units. The extensions are cleverly sequenced within Luna to recreate the tracking or mixing workflow that you would experience if you were recording on a large format analog console to tape. You can add across the instrument tracks, a U8 Oxide or Studer tape machine, and at the time of recording this video, an API console channel strip. Across any of the bus tracks, including the master bus, you can add summing either Neve or API, master tape, which this time is an Ampex tape machine, and finally, an API 2500 bus compressor. Okay, enough chat. Let's have a listen with and without the extensions engaged. So first, without summing. And now, with summing. With the tape switched off. With the tape switched on. With the console off. With the console on. All the extensions off. All the extensions on. As you can hear, the culminative effect across all the tracks with the extensions engaged is really quite something, and it's a wonderful head start when starting a mix. I may have tracked everything separately as often as the way today. However, the extensions built into Luna at the mixing stage certainly go a long way to creating the illusion that the band was all tracked together. I'm going to make some more in-depth videos on how I use the API console and tape extensions in a recent mix. This track featured Jack Mitchell, Johnny Mars drummer, and I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to listen to the song in advance. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. I'd love to know your thoughts on Luna and also your preferred workflow in the comments below. As ever, it's been an absolute pleasure, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to be notified of new videos from us in the future. It really does help the channel. I'm Matt from Distance Sun Studios and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.